Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode adventure. Uh, apologies for the break in the series, but we should hopefully be back up and running now. Um, we are in the Fleet Star, and I believe when my mouse disappears, we were en route to Drummond Island. Taking the long route by the looks of as well. Scout fuel trailer. Okay. So let's get going. Yes, we have jobs to do in Drummond. So jobs we shall do. Now, can I? No, we're not going to go up it. I sometimes come down that one. I'm not going to go up it. Yeah, I think we have... What were we doing? Um, Cousin Cletus, which is the... Oil barrels that are out on the map. We have um, three um, cargo containers to go and collect up. And I believe we still have a bridge to uh, construct ten hut. So we need to get them done. Let's get up here. Plenty easy enough climb. Good stuff. Yes, yeah, so hopefully, uh, hopefully things will go well. If I remember, if I remember like rightly, last time, and um, we went for a little little bob up to the river. Hopefully that never happens again. But you know, just one of those things. It is what it is, as I say. Turn off full wheel for a bit. We don't need it here. Save us a little dribble of fuel. I don't think our fuel is sort of well placed, actually, in Drummond. We've just got the one tanker in the middle that's at the gas station anyway. And we've got a bit of fuel in the um, Land Rover, which is still over there. The White Western is parked up next to the Kodiak. Which is here. I think that was getting ready to go into Island Lake, which we'll do once we've done a few of these drumming jobs. In Island Lake, the, the White Western and the uh, Western Star Twins there this should be all they all we need in there. If it, if it was. On, if we were on normal mode, we wouldn't even need the, the White Western style. White Western style's going in there so that we have a crane. Because there's, I think there's one or two jobs where it'd be nice to be able to crane some stuff about. Ooh, 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 watch out, watch out. Oh, we've still got some money-making um, challenges to do here on the dam, but we'll do them much later on, I think. Back in Drummond. So first, first job. What should we do first? Um, the lost delivery will be the. Uh, we can do the lost delivery without fixing the bridge. So we've got uh, attack, uh, cargo container there. We have a cargo container down there, and we have cargo container down there. My mouse is um, playing up again. Sorry. Did that before. Did I even activate it? Lost delivery. There we go. And then we take them back here. 
and we just do them one at a time. No rush, no messing about, hopefully. And then I think after that, we'll then work on Ten Hut and try and get the bridge built. I think that'll make it easy. I'm not sure if it does. I think it'll give us better access to uh, getting one of the uh, the lost oil containers or the lost oil barrels. <coughs> Excuse me. So we shall back on up in there. These containers are so simple in comparison to the containers we have to move later on. So simple. I think I said last time out, there's some, some rather large containers I don't like having to do. But we have to do them. There's the rules. Because <laughs> that's the game. <laughs> The box seems very sensitive as soon as we hit tarmac. So get the diff off. By the way, I hope you're all well. Are you enjoying the series so far? As I always say, it's a bit of a slow grind, but that's the game. It is a slow grind. Just take it at your own pace. There's no rush. As much as I rush myself, there is no rush. Just have fun with it. So if you're sticking with me and following along, I do appreciate it. If you're coming back at a later date, like off into the future, and you've just sort of come across some SnowRunner for whatever reason, and you're watching my series, let me know. I'd love a message. I'd love a message from the future. Because as I'm playing this, I'm watching a series that was recorded like two years ago. And as I'm recording the game itself, released four years ago, so... There's every chance. Uh, we're going to go the safe route, I think. Now what we could... I guess. Let's pull that empty trailer along. Just get a bit dubious about going over some of these bridges, that's the trouble. I think we had a had a trailer roll around here somewhere before when pulling it. So we have to be a bit wary sometimes. So I was saying we could go through and just grab the other one. In the back of a trailer. I'm gonna I'll tell you, I'm gonna go safe. I'm gonna go safe. It's been a little while since we've been behind the wheel, so let's let's be safe with it. 
better safe than sorry. Because if we if we get stuck or we roll, we're not too worried about losing the container, we can pick it up. But the truck is the issue if it gets stuck somewhere and we can't get it out properly. You know, not only do we have to either spend like a, a whole episode of building to get the White Western star, bring the White Western star through and and what have you, but there's uh, that, always that chance that I can't get it out and, and waste another eight grand on recovery. Which we don't want. We are just at risk of churning the way up a little bit more, that's all. We will grab a little petroleum from the trailer, I believe this one is full. Thank you. Shame about all those um, like map markers on the HUD. Ruins the opportunity of a little, like a quick screen grab, because I don't like them. Make a good thumbnail. They weren't there, and I don't particularly want to still take a screenshot. We, we might grab one in editing and do something with it. Once we've got the last container on, although it'll probably get dark by then, but then there should only be a drop-off point being marked. I had to sit and wait for the game to tick through again for me, although we left off at like, I think it was like 10 to 8 the last time. 5 to 10 to 8. When we came in, it was midnight again, so we had to wait around. But I, have, I think next time I have to do that, I'm going to start at 7, and we're just going to reset our days to 7 till 7. That's a 24-hour day. I think that'll give me a little bit more daylight at the start of the episode to sort of think about what I'm doing and, and get things going. Because sometimes, just as we're getting going on these jobs, the night falls upon us, and then the chunk of the work is done in the dark and then once the light starts to come up again we have a few hours of daylight but generally sort of winding up and getting ready for the next thing and I feel like that's a little bit bit of a waste of my daylight so if we, if we uh, next time I have to reset it not reset it but next time the, the time sort of doesn't stay in sync we'll start probably start working from 7 till 7 o'clock So that is cargo number one. Uh, oh, we'll get that one. We'll grab that one. Trying to go off the track where we can, just to not churn it up too much. I'm hoping, time allowing, that I, uh, I record the next episode straight after this one. So let's not let's not churn our route up too much. Although I think I said last time, uh, our, our tracks seem to still keep staying. I think we've had some in this one as well that were from a week ago. And last time out we had some that were from a week prior as well. Oh. 
Nope. We're on one. There we are. It's because my, my mouse keeps kicking there. I think I... I don't know. One of my other controls are interfering. Whether it's my wheel or my side panel or my mouse. Been doing a bit of trucking again, so it might, might even be that one of my pedals is starting to get a bit sticky. They do that every now and then, they need to be cleaned out. Like ATS, ETS trucking, not snow on a trucking. Not lined up as well as I thought that was, is it? <laughs> right. Will that pack? That'll pack. Excellent. Go back from whence we came. The good one doesn't seem too tough around there, so the, the high range will save us a, a litre or two of fuel as we go. We've still got a lot of big jobs to do and some long distance deliveries coming up and I am very conscious of the limited fuel that we now seem to have. Watched a few people do their hard modes now and everyone has more fuel left over than I think I'm going to have. Right, number two. Also everyone has a lot more money because I don't think anyone else has Completely had to full recover a truck. Petlo twice in Michigan. For that, we might as well have just, you know, full recovered the fleet starting the Kodiak when we found them rather than go through the chore of collecting them. Of all the maps, or of all the Michigan maps anyway, I think the four, Drummond is my but I think favourite, I think like visually. Yeah, some of the tasks are fun here. Oh whoa 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 That was a little bit worrying, wasn't it? Yeah, I just think this is a, a nice one to drive, to drive around on. And we get a bit of a funny camber here, so you have to be careful. More so on your way out than your way in. Although I've never looked at going out to the left over there. Or to, yeah funny camera and then I go take the worst angle on it. 
over next. Yeah, this looks like there could be a possible route out over there. I've always gone in and out from there. Got such nice views here. That's why I like to get get down and watch as we do stuff. It's just somewhat more picturesque, I think. Same that should pack. I've never gone that way before. I'm not going to go that way. I've never done it. I'm not going to risk it. I know we can get out here. Usually with no trouble, so probably with some trouble. Again, I think I've said it before, I see people fly around with their trucks with the utmost of confidence. I never feel that confident. We'll grab you. Oh, uh, to be fair, I don't like doing this route. Probably should have gone the other way. This is not the... Not the widest of bridges, is it? There we go. Imagine me trying to pull two trailers through there. That's that's why we didn't do it. There we go, that could be our screenshot. We'll try and grab something of that. driven terrain trying to fight back through again. Now, if, I was going to say, if you didn't build that bridge, I reckon you'd drive through there pretty easy, but I don't think there's actually a way up or down without building the bridge. I think that's sort of broken, isn't it? It's been a while ago since we built the bridge, and I can't remember what it looks like. But the river's quite shallow, you'd be able to drive through it. We've got that done a little quicker than I anticipated, which is nice. Now up to 71,442 credits. 
Uh, job well done on behalf of the Township of Steel River. Thank you for your contribution to the Main Street Renewal Project. You are welcome. 21, uh, oh, yeah, 2100, 240 XP. Where are we? Are we approaching? Oh, not far off. Right. So next up, I think we are... We're not doing them, are we? Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Ten Hut. There we go. So, building the bridge. We've got sideboard trailer with some parts in there. We want to go get that. Get ourselves a wee top up of fuel on the way. I wonder if anyone ever takes that track around. I'm not quite sure why you would. <laughs> Someone must have. Someone must have just followed the track. Looks like we'll be attempting to build the bridge under the cover of darkness. Here we do. We did that first little recovery job in good time. Good time for me, anyway. trailer now and grab the fuel. Now I'll get moving. the rickety bridges. Honestly, I think it would be easier to pass through there if the bridges weren't there. We just dipped up and down through the dikes. That's super shallow. I know the, uh, the terrain's not great, but I don't think it would have been that hard. trailer for now. And we're hopefully going to head to the gas station. should know. It's been a while. We get through two round here, can't we? Just takes me a little minute sometimes. <laughs> get the grey matter back in there. Uh, function and work in order. Uh, 
our sensitive gearbox. Not liking that we want to use the diff, but we want to use the diff, my friend. There's some more of your juicy fuel. Thank you kindly. And we should have a metal beam on a scout trailer next to the, uh, the land trailer. Which is just the other side of the next rickety bridge. And we can put that on the back of our trailer. Then hopefully it's, gonna, it's not going to be easy because we've got to get through some mud. And the fleet style is going to grind a bit. But hopefully get through and uh, do the first part of the bridge. Apologies for my cursor popping up all the time. It just wants to get involved. I don't want to need all these trailers up. Probably going to start uh, just deleting trailers. Because we can't sell them, annoyingly. I wish we could. Oh, how I wish we could. Oh, what are we rolling away from? Come on. That's not good. Get out of there. The uh, the weight of the trailer. It's just put, it's because I said I was going to delete it. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> I'll push you off. Let's not flick the Land Rover over. Nice. Back of the net. Now, if this was just a bit off roads, or even, you know, tarmac, dirt track, the fleet would have absolutely no trouble. But it's just that we are dealing with some thick mud now. Whoa, 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 what is that? What is that all about? Come, come on. What's that all about? Oh blimey. It's too dark to even see what happened there. I must have hit that rock. That was not friendly. 
We got unpacked. We're unpacked now, just so we're a little bit, a little bit looser, a little bit lighter. If anything wants to jump off the back, it can. We'll pick it up rather than the truck. Don't need none of that. We're having a good day. I think it's, uh, my mouse and stuff has interfered before. Or well, I think it's my wheel or my side panel that's mainly doing it. So I think I might have to start disconnecting them. For when we uh, record some Snow Runner. I'm not too worried if it does it while we're streaming Snow Runner. It's, it's, you know, <laughs> these things happen. I don't want to interfere in when. Uh, when doing stuff like just a minute ago where I was trying to cycle through in the uh over this is called and I went to uh pack and unpack. This I think one of my pedals is maybe because it then asked me to do something else, didn't it? Right. Yeah, so I have to just um disconnect them in future. It's just the right way, isn't it? Again, it's been a while. Yeah. First to the bridge. So now we need the same again. And like I say, we do have. Oh, it's going to be so annoying. We do have. That's empty. That's got the two in. We have a trailer here at Ten Hut. And we have sideboard over there which is near where we have to drop off cousin Cletus so I think we're gonna get that a little a little flitter in between uh, jobbies now Let's see if we can, can I? So why can't I delete the trailer? I tried this before I think and it wouldn't let me delete a trailer. Do not know why. I don't need it, but I don't want it left down there. It's going to get in the way. We've got some stuff to shift around here. Far out of the way as possible. Oh, I can delete it now. Look, there we go. Yeah, it's gone. Out of the way. We've got three more oh, on this map. We don't need more.
well, what we can do is, I mean, there are multiple ways of doing this. You can go down there and grab this if you wish. But we... remember that my anchors come out a bit wider. Right. Oh, swine. And we'll just sort of pull it up to ourselves, really. This one off. There, there are two of these, but we'll we'll get the other one. Oh, come on! We'll get the one after the other one after we finish the bridge. Since, since Cletus seems to have, or, or Cletus's cousin, uh, whoever it is that wants these, uh, has the, uh, the cement we want, or the concrete block, cement block, we'll take the fuel. Got as far as I was going to get there in high range. Yeah, I don't know. That oh, there is a little. Look at that. Didn't notice it in the dark. That was what caught me out. So careful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right. So now, I just want to smash into that rock or whatever that is outside. I just want to move that into my bed.
That should pack. Spun the camera around that many times, I forgot which way was the way out. And we will go back to Ten Hut. Now, where you can pick up the contract, there is a trailer with some metal beams in our second lot. memory does serve me. There is a little sneaky way through these trees here, but I don't think I'll find it. Under the cover of darkness. It's up through there. Just grab a wee bit of fuel out of the land rover if I can. Just about. Thank you kindly. Yeah, let's get a bit churned up there. I think I've said it before, but I really like that when you've got your load on, like as it rocks about in the back, you can, you can just hear the cement slabs. Oh, I did it again, I think. The cement slabs clinking together. The same as when you've got the uh, the metal beams in there. Like You can just hear that you've got your load, as well as feel your load. If that makes sense. I know some people still have a little grumble that many of the sounds, some, many of the trucks sound alike or there's not enough differences in them. But I think other things they've done really well with. I think I want to, again, memory let me down. Not being a truck aficionado, I don't really know what all these trucks sound like or should sound like. But they all sound like trucks to me. And some people will hate me for that, but... say a similar sort of thing when when I do the farming and the tractors and stuff like a lot of tra trucks and tractors in that people will often ask what's your favorite I don't have one I'm not a truck I'm not a like a tractor fanatic or a, a big agri fanatic I just I'm a gamer that likes those games and they spark my interest in it afterwards it's not like they had the interest first and I and I never pretend to uh, be overly knowledgeable in trucks, mechanics, agriculture, animal husbandry. Anything I do know, like I say, I learn after being introduced to these things quite often through the games. 
And that's another thing that I love about them. Probably not packed. Oh, it's concrete blocks. It's not a cement block. Ooh, silly me. Silly me. Um, do, do we have a... S Map's going to play up now. Do we have... Cement blocks here? I don't think we do. I think we need to go back through and get them. So what is this for? Concrete blocks, not cement block. Okay. Silly me, silly me. Right. So. Attach that trailer again. I'm going to delete that trailer. I do apologise. Didn't read, did I? Did not read. There. Put me anchors out. Something at some point is going to want that. In this area. Or maybe in... Island Lakes then. Right, let's see if we can get through. The sun's now coming up. See if we can get through. And uh, grab those uh, bricks. Concrete blocks, not bricks. Make sure we don't get bricks. Concrete blocks. I don't think there's any concrete blocks here. We should be able to get through there. Now that we're going against the clock, I want to have this done today. bit more more power pushes along a little less stability but we're good we're on asphalt now the tarmac all right we don't need to see that again I 
I do want this bridge built, so if this runs over time, it runs over time. We'll lose a little bit of time in the next one. Platform, concrete blocks, metal beams, wood planks, concrete. What? We've not got the bricks here either. How have we not got the bricks here? Oh. Concrete slab. What was that here? Concrete block. That's what we want, isn't it? Sorry. I am losing my mind. Concrete blocks. Yeah. It's just one, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want to... <laughs> oh dear. Oh, we've got one. Yep, yeah. alright. What is the time? Oh, we might, we might have enough time anyway. If I stop panicking, just get it done. Oh, pop of wheelies. Fork. <laughs> that challenge that we just went past is... I think it's taken two of these blocks down into the... What I call the swamp. There's a little house down there. I'm sure it's taken just the two. Right, back through we go. Skip that because that's probably eating into my daylight as well. <laughs> go, go, go. Don't want to have 75% of the job done, do we? Not, not on one like this. As I was, as we were getting that done so well and the, the containers we collected up so well, I, I honestly thought we were drop off that concrete slab, which should have been a concrete block, and then have enough time to out find Cousin Cletus' final um, oil drum. But alas, that is not the case. So we've got to try and find our gap in the trees again. Which is just here. Come on. Why why is it why is it doing this to me? Because it can, no doubt. Oh, so down the default. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say. Ooh. What was that all about? Doesn't help that all the weight was <laughs> is on the back. But yeah. So we can definitely get up there. <laughs> Break on before I start down that shit. Free rolling down there. This give me back on the job that I was on when I left. Wow, 
Boom. There it is. Beautiful. Six grand for that. So that's not bad. 640 on the XP. And we are now level 14. It's probably unlocked some things for us that we duly need. What is the time? It is quarter past eight. So we are going no further. No further shall we pass. That is it. So a little bit sneaky. Grabbed an extra 15 minutes, but do you know why I, I messed up? Get rid of that cursor. So, uh, yeah, that one, that was quite good. Uh, not a bad return. Um, hopefully, I'm going to be able to get a few more of these done and we can get back to regular releases. Uh, hopefully, you've enjoyed this one, though. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day and hopefully, I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.